Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to control the servo motor using the IR sensor. So, servo motor will rotate anti-clockwise and clockwise each time the IR sensor detects any obstacle in front of it, like this. So, the servo motor is rotating from 0 to 180 degree. So, let's start building this project. So, the components that we are required for this project are Arduino Uno, a breadboard, IR sensor, few jumper wires, LG90 servo motor and a USB A to B cable. So first of all we will place the IR sensor on the breadboard. So you can see the rightmost pin is the VCC, middle one is the ground and the leftmost is the out pin which is the signal pin. So place the IR sensor on the breadboard. And take out two jumper wires, connect one wire to the ground and other end to the VCC. And take out another jumper wire, connect one end to the out pin of the IR sensor. So we will connect the blue jumper wire into digital pin of the Arduino, like pin number 7. And red wire will be connected to the 5 volt pin of the Arduino. And brown wire will be connected to ground. Now let us connect the servo motor. So First of all, we will connect the ground. So, black wire we will connect it to ground of the servo motor. Yellow wire will be connected to signal pin. And green wire will be connected to VCC. So, connect the yellow wire into digital pin of the Arduino, like pin number 6. And green wire will be connected to 5 volt pin of the Arduino. So this is the 5 volt pin. And black wire will be connected to ground. Now all the circuit have been completed. Now we will upload the program. And one more thing we need to do for the IA sensor is the calibration. So currently the calibration is not done yet for the IA sensor. You can see the obstacle is not being detected by the sensor because both the LEDs are on. So the right LED is representing that IA sensor is being powered on and left LED is representing that IA sensor is ready to detect obstacle or not. So we need to rotate the knob of this potentiometer such that the left LED is just turn off. Right? So now you can see the IA sensor is detecting obstacle. So this is how we done the of calibration of IA sensor. So to upload the program we need to navigate to the tools menu and from there you need to choose the board i have already selected arduino uno you need to select arduino uno from this right and you need to also select the port number and uh, from my laptop it is only showing com5 but uh, in your case it may also show com3 com4 and many ports so you need to select any of the ports so i'm selecting com5 now let us upload the code So without any error, the code has been uploaded. Now let us move on to the explanation of the code. So this is the complete code of the project. We need to just define the IR sensor pin and the servo object. And state is a variable to store the current servo position. And false corresponds to 0 degree and true corresponds to 180 degree. And last reading is a variable to store the previous IR sensor reading. And high is equal to no object. Because we are rotating the servo motor between 0 to 180 degree. So we need to keep track of its last position and the current position. Now coming into the loop function, so in this function we are reading the digital state of the IR sensor and storing that state into the current reading variable. And in this line we are checking for the falling edge. Falling edge means whether the signal is changing from high to low or not. Because we don't want the servo motor to rotate every time the sensor signal is low. But only when it just changes from high to low, right? And we are also toggling the state of the IR sensor. That is state is equal to not state. So in this line we are keeping track of the last servo position. And uh, we are further checking that if state is equal to true. Then in that case we are writing 180 degree to the servo. And uh, otherwise if the state is equal to false. Then we are writing 0 degree angle to the servo motor. And we are also adding some delay of 300 millisecond. Right. And after all these condition we are updating the last reading with the current reading for the next loop duration. So I hope this code is clear to you. If you have any doubt regarding this project or if you want to add something in this project, let me know in the comments. We will meet with the new project in another video. Till then, 